All right, all cameras rolling. What's going on, guys? Back with another episode of, um, you know, Airsoft and Hardware G69. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing. I got an unboxing. Y'all going to see me looking at several different cameras. I got three set up right now running on me. Um, so if you see me looking at this one, if you see me looking at that one, or if you see me looking at this one, a couple different angles. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and get into this. I did just cut the top open. That's all I've done so far. Alright, this is from eBike as well. Okay, eBike.com, www.ebike.com. Whoa, good lord, that feels like it weighs 20 pounds. That is. I'm a pack of BBs. I'm very well sure. I don't really want to rip them open right now, but I will. Go ahead and crack in instead of ripping them all and letting them spit. Okay. Good, they're in the packaging. Nice Matrix 2.5s. They should be. Let me make sure they're 2.5s. Then they give me 2.0s. Yeah, 2.5s. Ten thousand in each pack. There's also another pack, or five thousand each pack. Excuse me. Professional grade. All right. So there's that. So for let's see. No, okay, so I'm sure John. Receipt. Okay. This right here is the Matrix. That camera cut off. Oh well, I know these are still rolling. This right here is a cam, um, a matrix uh, cover to put over your gun. That might tell you what I got coming up. Here's the mag for it. I'm very excited here, guys. Um, I'm just I'm very excited because one of the simple facts that I, uh, this is the most expensive gun I've ever purchased at one time, so, this is my extra Firefox battery, Super Power 9.6 crane stock style battery, okay, get your e-bike calendar, you always get your e-bike calendar, And here we go, guys. And yes, you can read it right. Echo Warning. Oh, yeah. Let's get this flip back right about up in here. Let's see if we can get us to see what she looks like when I open her up. Okay, already. Love the box. Great boxing. It's made in America. Main USA, you can see the flag right there on the front. Love that. What does it say? Play hard, play safe. <laughs> All right. Now, as we get, oh man, man, look at this, guys, a thing of beauty. If you're wondering what kind of gun this is, I will show you right here on this. It did come with a 9.6 uh, butterfly battery. I know it would. Big old fat battery. Big old fatty. Look at that thing. Good lord, son. 1500 milliamps. Whew. I'm stoked. I'm really stoked about this, guys. Uh, cleaning rod. Your magazine. All well packed. All well packed. Of course, your battery charger, which I'm going to keep in here. I'm not going to take out because I've already got 10,000 of them. Your, a few of your tools. Uh, Allen wrench, and a butterfly Allen wrench, and another little piece probably to adjust the front scope. A flash hider cover so you don't shoot yourself. And lo and behold, the Echo One. Also, it comes with your grip. 
Now, the JG model would come with a silencer. This one doesn't. Okay, we'll go ahead, we'll throw the script on there real quick. Just so we can get kind of a, oh my god, the feel of this gun. Guys, the feel of this gun. That's nothing like any other one I've got. The feel of this is just tremendous. Pop-up sights. God, y'all, the smell. I'm serious, the way it smells. It smells like brand new shoes. Nice metal hop up in it. Wow. Um, it does not open the release when you cock that. You have to do it with your finger. From what I was told. Um, it may be a little stiff to get into right away. But I'll just take my knife and pop right into it. Um, but that's where the hop up unit is. And, uh. Yeah, I don't want to break nothing. But no, that's how it is. They're not they're, and then you'll see the charging lever go back. As it exposes your hop up. Which is Metal Gears. Yes, sir. Alright, now as you can see, it's got the nice style grip. It's the brand new Echo One SR. I mean ER25 Special Edition or ER25K Special Edition. This is by far the nicest gun I've ever owned here. Um, it's not as heavy as everybody says. It is actually not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Uh, I don't have the battery and everything in there, and I don't have the mag in there and everything as well. But uh, I'll rip this mag open real quick and throw it in there. Um, they do not take standard M14 magazines, so you will have to buy different magazines. Um, I mean M4 magazines. They also don't take M14 magazines. I know that looks like an M14 magazine, but it is not. Oh, my God. Look at that lock in. They got a little bit of wobble in the stock, which they all told me it would have. But the cheek rest. Wow. Oh, the way this feels, this grip on this. Compared to my D boys, it's oh my god. Now, without that being said, the D boys felt like it locked into place better when you went to semi and then you went to auto. Could be a problem there, don't never know, but uh, I hope not. Nah, it seems like it's happening fine. Mag release is working great. Everything's working fine on there. Six pieces stock. Got your adjustable everything right here. You know your adjustable sights. Then you can put it back down. And you can use it as more as a Russian M16. Like, not Russian, but as in coming up on somebody you can use it as an M16 uh, close quarter battle um, weapon when you see it next it will be decked out as well guys of course this is all full metal this it's all steel there's nothing on there nothing at all on this plastic except that right there this right here is like a rubber this ain't even that polycarbonate it's like a rubber um, this is like a polycarbonate plastic and then these are this is velvet felt on the side so uh, we're gonna give her a run for her money we're gonna see what she's about three hundred fucking dollars better be about something good anyway guys with that being said there it is the echo one er25k sorry about the cursing in there guys this right here is the cover up this right here that's what that's for to cover up your flash hide that way if any accidental shots go off it doesn't hit anything in your room I have had one of these that come with one other gun and I've saved it it would come on an M14 that I had a long time ago but um yeah guys this right here seems like it's gonna be a very very good gun uh, there's a few options that are different you know I don't have the deep decompression uh, button release button right here like the D boys has simulated um, but you know, 
other than that, this is a well-made gun. The internals and everything in here, it's a very, very beautiful gun. And it feels like it's going to handle just nice. So with that being said, till next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. And I'm going to chrono it in and everything. Until then, this is G69, and I'm out, guys. And I will get up with you. Um, uh, guys, your prizes are on the way. And uh, all right, man. Y'all stay up, man. Peace.